Today is a great day. It is a brand new year. 2024 is upon us now. So happy new years to each and every individual out there watching this video, guys. Hit the like button for a new year, a new Brookhaven update, and a new just hopefulness that, you know, Roblox, Brookhaven is going to continue to expand and do the right things. Because, guys, you know, last year was wild. Um, Not only was... For me, personally, it was one of the worst years I've had in a long time. I'm sure a lot of people might feel the same, or it might have been a very good year for you last year. But, um, you know, with this year coming around the corner, I'm hoping Roblox really tidies things up a little bit. They were introducing some wonky things and doing things last year. I mean, the whole <laughs> recent events of the Game Fab thing and the My Hero game, the anime game and stuff, dude. They were taking down other games and stuff, dude. What a weird ending to last year. But with this year... We have a new hope, a new start to do things right, to do things better. And we can start by hitting the like button on this video, guys. Because this is the new Brookhaven Ocean update expanded upon. Now, I, I get it, guys. I get it. I'm already seeing a couple comments like, oh, Wolfpack just released a part two of the update. He split the update and now, guys, no, this is great. This update is solid. I mean, to come into the new year right away on day one with an update of this caliber is fantastic and amazing. And I love it and I'm thankful for it. And I can't wait to see what we're going to see in the future. Because, guys, this ocean and the ocean updates that we are receiving is only going to continue to get expanded upon. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of crazy ocean things introduced in Brookhaven throughout the course of this year. So, yeah, you might just want to tidy yourself up, put your seatbelt on, grab your popcorn, and get ready. Because it's going to be crazy. So, let's kind of go over an overview of what is included. And then we're going to take a look at it. First and foremost, on the update change log, Wolfpack says, Happy New Year of 2024. There's a new free island house plot, a property pass island house plot, and an estate pass island house plot, and two sharks. Roleplay sharks specifically, but what? Sharks? That is the cool part of this update, and that is the part of the update that really is my favorite. But... Before we get too caught up with the sharks and all the funness that is the sharks and everything. Mm -hmm. There's one of the sharks right there. We're going to get the chance to get not yet, not yet to the sharks, dude. You just stick around for the sharks because there's some cool things about the sharks and cool features that you can do with the sharks as well that you guys are going to want to know about. Now, in terms of secrets for this, uh, this update, people are curious about the secrets as well. Uh, they are kind of goofy little fun things you could do with the islands and stuff. Okay, so this is the free island. Just vacant house lot number 35. Anybody and everybody, if you join into a Brookhaven lobby, you can spawn a house out here on the ocean. So that's pretty amazing. Now, let's go ahead and just spawn a, you know, a house in construction. Look at it. So now you can be constructing your, your house out here on the waters. Let's climb this. Up, 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 up. Come on now. Keep going up. There we are. So, you can now continue building your house on the waters here. I don't know how you're going to get the construction equipment. I would guess via helicopter of some sort to kind of transport it over. But, um, yeah. So, this is really cool, guys. This island here alone is good enough to, like, in my opinion. like, And the fact that it's for free players as well. Dude, you can't really top that. I mean, each and everybody that's watching this video right now can go and spawn an island on the house. So, this makes, obviously, the islands useful now i'm gonna be honest when we first got the ocean update it was a big shock between me my friends and uh, a lot of you guys as well like why do the the islands only work as ramps for the speedboats is that it and i know it seemed like it was kind of distant there wasn't even an island cave or cavern of sort there wasn't nothing that was really giving us any value other than it just being a deserted lonely island now the islands have value all three of them and the first one here is for free players as well that you can spawn any of the free houses on i mean i could spawn any house uh, as well on here so that's pretty darn cool if you ask me but now let's hunt on over to another island let's get some turbo on here you know what's crazy guys the sharks can actually have turbo too we'll get into that though we'll get into it i'm getting ahead of myself because i'm excited but i might have to go faster than this man this is slow. Let's pick up that speed right there. 200. Not bad, not bad. That's faster. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to come up here to this one. And this is the... Is this the estate one? The island estate. Okay, so vacant lot number 37. So this is the big one. Guys, now this is the big one. The island estate, you know what that means. 
you can spawn estates. Now, the estate game pass, dude, this is meant to be the coolest thing ever. Okay, I've not done this yet. It's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited. Military base. Military base, dude. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. Look at it, dude. Hold on, let me, let me, let me go get on my, 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 my jet ski and pull up in there. Look at this. Whoa. So, the estate game pass is the most expensive game pass of the game. Kind of rightfully so. I mean, look at this, dude. This is so cool. Now, this means like all the estates are probably got different unique features that wasn't originally in the estate. Like this one, for example. There's a whole underground entryway to park your boats oh my god that's so cool dude all right let's open this are you kidding me dude launching a jet from an island like this oh dude i'm in love already all right let's go spawn it there's my jet right there my beauty all right up we go we fancy it don't we all right, it's gonna be a glorious day in Underbrook heaven. All right, let me change my uh, jet to uh, gray. And let's start on. Oh my god, dude, this is cool. Hold out military base on the island. Oh my god, dude. I, I can't get over how cool this is. Like, I, I know I might be kind of spazzing out a little bit, but dude, this is great, dude. Look at that underwater cavern, too. Like, dude, this is good, dude. This is good. I like it. I like it. I like this can of beans. It's good, dude. Um, yeah, this is amazing. I really am happy with this, dude. The estate looks so good here. And uh, now I want to see what, like, maybe the military base or something looks like. So let's actually try that. Let me just crash my jet, dude. All right, let me cancel this. Go here. And, ooh, the, the hotel, though. All right, let's try the prison. Okay, so all of the estates... All of the estates, guys, have this little under area. Like, um, so whenever you spawn, it, it probably the hotel, anything, it has this. I guess it makes sense because, like, if you have an estate, you got to get to it somehow, right? So here's the prison entrance, Brookhaven's correctional facility for people that need good old correcting because they do stupid stuff. But um, that be the case. Um, yeah, this is really cool, too. I mean, look at how beautiful this is, dude. Yes, that is nice, dude. No, that's nice, nice, nice. Now, let's go ahead and cut this one out. Okay. Now, let's get the... No I want to see what the hotel looks like. Because that's one of the unique ones, too. Okay, so we have the hotel here. Now, there is, in this cave here, guys, there is this outer part, too. Like, look. You can go down over here. Yeah, this kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what's over here, dude. What? What is this? Oh, wait. Is that a secret way out? Oh, my God, dude. Secret cave entrance. Dude, that's kind of cool. And, guys, remember the prison actually has two underground escape routes. So, I guess that kind of connects to the island and everything, too. And we have a lot of room, dude. So, this is like... At hotel on the island. Haunted as it may be and could be. Yeah, when me and Darzaflas came here, I didn't like staying here, dude. It was creepy, man. There was a lot of creepy stuff about this place. Super spooky. So, that is the estates. Uh, kind of in, 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 a, in a nutshell, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get back down to the waters. And uh, get our trusty, dusty duster. We're going to do this today. It is floating. Thank you. All right. Now, let's head on over to the other island where you can also have a wonderful house. Now, this other one is part of the uh, uh, another game pass or something. I, I'm not sure. It's the Paradise Island. So, it obviously has a little bit of a different layout. But it doesn't include the, uh, the uh, what you may call it. The what you may call it. But, uh. All right, so this island here, uh, if we come and we hop over here, this should be the Paradise Island. So this one just is a little bit of a different design, but you can still even spawn a spaceship out here if you want. Uh, and it gives you, a, okay, this one gives you the dock, which my boat is not doing too good with. Okay, he's fine. 
He's fine. He, no, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. Sit down. He's fine. Um, so yeah, this is the this one is nice actually. I really like this one. It's kind of up there and one of my favorites because I like the estate one too because you get the underground entrance. But this, the dock is just so cool too. So I guess you know you have to have a way to dock your boats or and enter these places, right? Or leave them. Just on the normal free islands, though, you, you're out of luck, dude. You know, we need like um, like life raft boats. You know, like say you're on like a like a the like I don't know some giant cruise and things go wrong and you gotta pop out your little life raft boats to get escape. You know, we need some of those as well added to the catalog of boats. Um, so hopefully we will see something like that and hopefully some bigger yachts and stuff like some uh, like cruises. You know, cruise ships. Um, that's what I'm really hoping for. I'm really hoping for some cruise ships. I would personally love to see that. Uh, we got our SpaceX rocket here, dude. We, we need a, a, a company, you know, like that's like um, SpaceX and stuff that's actually working on the ocean stuff. Dude, is there a company like, like, you know, we're always trying to go to space, but what company is working on like the ocean stuff? Ocean stuff, dude. There's, there's some stuff with the ocean that needs to be... Uh, needs to be got um all right so let's go ahead and now we are going to be moving on to the sharks okay so this is my favorite part okay um we've never really seen anything like this in brookhaven now i i guess these they spawn right in the water okay and you hop in them and now we are inside the shark now i guess what this technically is dude i know i know i know it looks cool Hit the like button for the shark, or he's gonna eat you, dude. Do you wanna be ate by a shark? Someone said, yeah, what is wrong with you, dude? What, what, what is actually wrong with you? Hit the like button, okay, already, for Pete's sake. Um, but yeah, so that be the case. Um, the shark looks amazing, it's beautiful. But you can, can you can change the color on the shark. Okay, let's make sure. So um, you can change the color on your shark to make it any color that you want. This one just doesn't have the cool pattern. That's what I was thinking. So. Um, that be the case, you could change it to any color. If you want a green shark, dude, that's covered in like seaweed. Look at his gills, bro. Mm, that looks crazy. Yeah, but so he's a, he, he he's technically, I guess the sharks here are mechanical sharks. They're controllable mechanical sharks because if you zoom in, you see that I'm just laying here. It's like a coffin, dude. Or it, it's either a mechanical shark or it's a shark that eats you and you're in it, you're in its stomach as it roams around looking for its next meal. Find a beach, get away with tons of people swimming in the ocean, and go on a buffet. But, um, yeah, so, as you can tell, these sharks look beautiful. They look great. Um, I mean, I was really hoping for sharks. I, I mean, I was wanting sharks really badly. And we got them in such a unique, amazing way that really works, and I'm happy with it. I really am. So, the premium features do not work on the shark. Does it look like this shark has wheels? Right? So, those don't work on the shark. None of the premium features. You don't got a horn. I don't think sharks make noises. They do respond to certain noises. Certain things do attract them, other than blood. But, um, that be the. Did I just go on land? Wait, what? Now, obviously, you can't take the sharks on land either. Um, you can try, but it usually doesn't work. So, you can do that. That's about as far as it can go. I have got it to glitch and do some pretty crazy things. So, like on stream, when we were streaming, it looked like I actually caught the shark. It was kind of the coolest thing ever, dude. I'm not even going to lie. It looked like I had caught a shark, a live shark with my fishing rod, which we might be able to replicate. Hold up. Let's turn the speed. 200. Let's get that turbo on. And let's see if I can replicate that again. Because it looks so cool, dude. All right. So, we just take the shark, run it into the edge. Okay, it's actually really hard to do that. I got really lucky with that glitch on stream, actually. But there's something you can do where it looks like you caught the shark, and it looks so cool. And I was also trying to cook the shark. So let's see if I can cook the shark. Oh, I was almost on land. Okay, okay. Let's 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 cook the shark, dude. We're cooking the shark. All right, now we come here. Get our prompts out there. Get a good on prompts. So let's put our uh, well cooking thing now. Oh ho! Yes, 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 yes. Shark, shark, shark. No, 
No, no. Oh my god, dude, the shark got away. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta carefully put him up uh, on the fire. No, sir, you gotta go on the fire. Right there, right there. Cook that fin up. Cook the fin up right there. Shark fin soup. Wait, do we only eat the top part of the fins or the second? Dude, first off, I don't really agree with eating shark fin soup. Why are you cutting just the fins of the shark off like that, dude? It's kind of messed up, but... um. That'd be the case, we got some shark food cooking up here. As I say that and I cook a whole shark, whatever, dude. Whatever, shut your mouth. Um, we got a we got a green shark. Yes, he looks mutated and contaminated and everything in between, but I think he's gonna be darn delicious. We got shark burgers. Oh my god, dude. I wanted my shark burgers. Hold up. Give me give me give me my shark burgers. Oh my god, dude. What's away? Hold up. Let me just go grab one. Shark burger, what you know about it, dude? Now, I do think shark meat has high levels of mercury and other things that if you eat large amounts of it, you will probably die. So be careful if you eat shark for real, for real. Um, and uh, it, it, yeah, <laughs> so that'd be the case. Now we wanna look at the bigger shark, the bigger, 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 bigger shark, okay? So that's what we wanna do now. Let's go down here and let's spawn him in. He is bigger. Now he's not a megalodon. People said on stream that a Megalodon is like 100 times bigger than this. So maybe he is just like, that's like a normal size shark, and this is like a great white shark. Ooh, he looks mean. So uh, we can actually change the color of him. Let's make him kind of brown. And you will see that he has a pattern. He's striped. So uh, maybe, it, it, or, or, isn't the tiger shark like striped like that, actually? Um, I'm not sure. Doesn't tiger sharks have like a stripe on them? I don't know, there is a shark that does have a, a, a rather pattern, but honestly, if I'm being honest, guys, that looks like the tiger shark over there, the, the small one. Then you have a bull shark, which is maybe bigger than a tiger shark. Um, I don't know, shark size guide. Okay, guys, let me check the size of these sharks here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the great white shark is actually the biggest, you know, because we don't got Megalodon. So this would be a great white for sure, I think. And that's going to just be like a one of the normal sharks. I mean, hammerhead sharks are even smaller than you expect. I think there are just like a, a, a great hammerhead shark, which is about the size of a great white, but not quite. But yeah, so I, w I would say... In comparison, the smaller shark is a tiger shark, and this one is a great white shark. Now, a megalodon compared to a a a megalodon shark size comparison. Now, compared to a great white, even a baby megalodon is big. So. Okay, so the great white shark is about, okay, so holy moly, the megalodon is probably a great white shark. This one times like three or four. That is insane, dude. That is insane. That is absolutely crazy, dude. Imagine we get other sea creatures and things of sort maybe in Brookhaven too. That would be crazy. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love the sharks. It's my favorite feature for those asking. And uh, I think this update is a great start into the new year. Gives us a really fun update that uh, I'm enjoying from start to finish in every single way. Now, another thing I need to touch on before we close out is secrets. What direct secrets do we have? Well, at this current moment, guys... Wolfpack still hasn't delivered to us a secret base update or an update largely focusing on secrets again, but I do know it's coming this year and it will be this year 100%, okay? So, in this update specifically though, I don't really notice any secrets right at the start, right away. I do want to try something though, and I'm going to do it on video with you guys because I'm curious. Because it was something... Me and my buddy Darzif was talking about with the new year of 2024. How would this work and how would this occur? You guys know where the 2024 sign is? That is uh, when you spawn and it says Happy New Year's 2024. That's where the skate park's supposed to be, right? So what happens if we spawn the skate park with the sign there? I think I think the sign is pretty thin, so it might just still stay there. But uh, I'm still interested about that. 
Now, the New Year update doesn't hang around too long, guys. Uh, Brookhaven could receive another update even this Friday, to be honest. Which would actually be nuts. So, yeah, I want to go try this. I just want to try this. Because I'm interested. You already own a house. Shut your dirty mouth. Um, all right. So, where's the skate park? Right here. Let's go upstairs. Spawn yourself before me, I command. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it just stays right there. It works perfectly still. Okay, that's nice. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the update. Uh, I'll be going in more detail about some of the features of this update throughout the week, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, go have fun. See you guys in the next one.